Organize your student loans. This video will give you five steps to organizing your student loans, three loan repayment rules to live by. If the time has come to repay your student loans, then it's time to get organized. Being successful in loan repayment may seem difficult when you look at your total loan balance, but you can dominate loan repayment by creating a plan, being faithful to it, and contacting your loan servicer if you ever have to stray from that plan. Here's a five-step approach to organizing your student loans. Step one, pull up all your loans. For your federal loans, visit nslds.ed.gov or studentloans.gov. Log in or create an account. Once in the site, you'll find your full portfolio of federal student loans. For your private loans, visit annualcreditreport.com. You'll need to request a credit report that will list all your credit accounts, including private student loans. Once you have compiled this information, note the servicer assigned to your loan and their contact information. Consider putting their contact information in your phone so you can easily get in touch with them. Step two, check your interest rates. Remember that your loans may have different interest rates, Note the interest rate next to the loan balance and check if the rate is fixed or variable. If it's variable, be sure you understand how and when the rate may change. Rank your loans by interest rate. Paying off loans with higher interest rates first while making minimum payments on the other loans could save you money. While you're checking on interest, see when your lender capitalizes interest. Interest capitalization is when accrued interest is added to your principal balance to make a bigger principal balance. Step three, calculate your total balance and standard repayment amount. Using the repayment estimator on studentloans.gov, enter your loan balances and interest rates to calculate a standard repayment amount. With standard repayment on your federal loans, scheduled monthly payments are the same every month for the life of the loan. We'll discuss other repayment options later. Step four, find your payment due date. Some of your loans may have a grace period and some may not. Your due dates will differ for your federal and private loans. Consider setting up automatic payments. Talk to your loan servicer to see if an interest rate reduction is possible if your monthly payments are automatically deducted from your checking account. Step five, determine if consolidation is in your best interest. There are a number of benefits to consolidating, like simplifying your loan repayment. With federal loans, consolidating could help you take advantage of federal repayment options and loan forgiveness. Always speak to your servicer before deciding if you want to consolidate. You could also save money by consolidating your private loans into a lower fixed interest loan. Each scenario is unique, so make sure you examine the costs, interest rates, and loan terms before consolidating. With these five steps in mind, there are three student loan repayment rules that you should live by. Number one, unless you are in deferment or forbearance, always make a monthly payment. With the loan repayment options that we'll introduce in the next video, there is really no reason to fall behind on your loans. Number two, contact your loan servicer whenever you're confused, worried, moving, or have significant changes to your income or family size. They have good advice to help you manage repayment. Number three, create online accounts for all your student loans and spend a few minutes a month checking your account balance. Once you follow these steps, you'll feel more organized with your loans and prepared for repayment. Next, we'll continue to plan your repayment strategy and discuss repayment plans that could make repayment easier for you.